am I doing? I don't know how to take a thumbnail for this, so I'm just gonna... There's my cat. They're probably gonna go in the litter box. That's gonna happen. Should I just come out and say that I'm on a no-buy? I'm on a no-buy. Roll the credits. Not the credits! <laughs> Roll the intro! <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Monica and welcome back to my channel Mooney Reads or welcome to my channel if you're new. I don't know how you stumbled upon here, but welcome. This is Mooney Reads. I haven't uploaded a video or filmed a video in over a month. So talking to my camera seems a little bit strange. I don't know, I feel, I'm like pumped, but at the same time, I'm just awkward. But then that, again, that's just kind of me. What am I even saying? Anyway, welcome back to my channel. Here I talk about books, but I want to, what do, how do I start, how do I even start this? So, at the beginning of 2021, I set myself a goal. Why? Because I was depressed. And that goal was to do a complete no-buy in the year of 2021. And of course, that includes my book collection. That's right, kitties and anyone who is an adult that watches me, I am not buying a single book in the year 2021. Now, there are many reasons for this. Number one, though, is because I realized that my spending was out of control and I wanted to get it back into control. And what I have found, I, I'm on the third month of this no buy and I have been sticking to this like you have no idea. I have been doing it, I have been working it, doing it, you know, doing the doing the work. And what I found is that one of the big things that I realized is that I knew that I was buying books that I wasn't gonna enjoy or that I wasn't gonna read. And I was just buying them to hold them up. Or I was buying them, I, most of them I was buying them because I knew, like I at least had an inkling that I was gonna like them. But most of them, um, I was buying because they're pretty. Because I wanted to be surrounded by books, or so I thought. What I have found recently is that I don't want to be surrounded by books. I mean, not really. I want to be surrounded by books I love, but I don't want to be surrounded by books in general. So what does this no buy mean for my channel? Of course, this means that I'm still going to be reading because I still have Audible. I'm sorry, my cat's being annoying. Look at her. Look at her face. You should be the thumbnail. So I still have Audible, I still have Scribd, and I still have a library full of books that I bought last year that I haven't read. But what I'm not doing is buying new books. Of course, this puts me in a really precarious place when it comes to my channel because most people come here for new releases. Or so I thought. What I have found in my time in booktube is that People don't really come for new releases. People come to hear you talk about books. And I still got a shit ton to say about books, including a shit ton to say about buying books and how not buying books has been really just a stress reliever for me. Like it's, it's kind of opened me up to really appreciating the books that I have. I have also been in a reading slump, <laughs> like a really bad reading slump. Like we're talking, I have read maybe five books this entire year. By this time last year, I had read like 30 books. Like it's really bad. But I just have found that I was also buying books kind of to numb the feeling of knowing that I had books that I wasn't looking forward to reading. I did a big declutter. I actually filmed it, but I wasn't happy with the result. I was still like going through some stuff that I'm still going through, but I'm doing a lot better. And um, I decluttered like 50 books, 50 books that I just bought because most of them are new. I mean, all of them, because before before I started my booktube channel, I wasn't in this, like, 
world of books where I would buy everything and you know and and not have any control <laughs> over myself so I decluttered like 50 books off of my bookshelves and I still have more books to declutter but well I'm getting through them I'm getting through reading books that scare me I'm getting through reading books that I thought I didn't want to read and it turns out I really like them. A uh, review for The Final Empire is coming. And you know, I'm just really glad to be back. I I may I was going to I like this video literally it's 9:30 at night. I just got home from work. I'm still in my gap hoodie because I just couldn't give a crap today about putting on clothes. And what I wanted to tell you is that I am on a no buy, but that I am back motherfuckers. So, um, yes, I'm back. I'm back to making videos. I have videos planned. I have videos pre-filmed because we all know the name of the game is pre-filming. I'm going to try to stick back to my schedule of three videos per week. No, I'm not going to try. I'm going to do it because when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. And well, if you have any questions about my no buy, by the way, my no buy is a complete no buy. It includes books, movies, clothes clothes has been the hardest makeup anything if you have any questions about that um please leave them down below please leave me just like a black heart just let me know that you're here and yeah without any further ado i bid you adieu with a reminder that i will post every monday tuesday not tuesdays every mondays wednesdays and fridays and that it's good to be back and that i will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.